Hello, my name is Dr. Fred Tenover, and I am the Vice President for Scientific Affairs at Cepheid, a molecular diagnostics company. Today, we're going to discuss the Expert CARBA-R test, which is a really versatile cartridge. It's a surveillance test for infection control, an antibiotic resistance test for carbapenemases, and an antimicrobial stewardship tool to guide therapeutic options when you're testing pure colonies. And all of that is on label. But first, we need to discuss a very important and very powerful class of antibiotics, the carbapenems. Carbapenems are beta-lactam type drugs, and they're often the drugs of last resort when other antibiotics have failed due to bacterial resistance. So here's the key. The carbapenemases come in two flavors, serines and metallos. Most of the new combination antibiotic drugs are only active against the serine flavor of the carbapenemases, just like KPC. They are not active against any of the metallos, that is, the VIMs, the IMPs, or the NDMs. That's where expert CARBA-R comes in. It calls out all five families of carbapenemases separately, so it does differentiate between the serines and the metallos. But let's start with infection control applications of CARBA-R. Knowing which patients in a hospital are colonized with carbapenemase-producing organisms is very important for preventing transmission and outbreaks of disease caused by these organisms. Colonized patients can be placed in contact precautions and that prohibits transmission. Expert CARBA-R is cleared for both rectal swabs and perirectal swabs for this purpose. Rectal swabs globally are considered the gold standard for testing, but in the United States, many physicians are concerned about using the more invasive rectal swab on a transplant patient who may have very tender rectal mucosa due to therapy. The perirectal swab is considered to be less invasive. Now, just to clarify, the difference between the two swabs is sort of this. A perirectal swab is a ooh, where a rectal swab is a ha. Ah. Remember that patients who are colonized with carbapenemase producing organisms can transmit those organisms to other patients, but they may end up with those organisms in their bloodstream or in their urinary tract as well. Expert CARBA-R results can give that doctor the heads up to look for those types of infections if the patient's condition is getting worse. Now let's turn our attention to testing for carbapenem resistant colonies of the Enderobacteriales, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Acinetobacter species. Now notice I said carbapenem resistant organisms. That means the lab has already performed the initial antimicrobial susceptibility test on those isolates. Now those isolates can come from any specimen type, blood, urine, sputum, wounds, it doesn't matter, they are all on label. Carbapenem resistance is a broad category that encompasses a number of different resistance mechanisms. ESBLs and porin changes, efflux mechanisms, and of course, the carbapenemases. Differentiating carbapenemase producers from non-carbapenemase producers is critical for the laboratory to do, especially in the United States. Now, why is that? First, because according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the non-carbapenemase producers do not need the same level of infection control precautions as those that produce carbapenemases. Second, because all five of those major carbapenemase classes, KPC, NDM, VIM, M and OXA48 are all circulating in the United States. And as I have noted before, the type of carbapenemase makes a big difference when you're choosing your antimicrobial chemotherapy. Now, most of the new combination drugs are active against KPC producers. Only Evicaz, otherwise known as Evibactam septazidime, covers KPC, and it only has limited activity against OXA48. 
None of those are active against the metallobetalactamases. That is, again, the VIM, the IMP, the NDM. So you can see the expert CARBA-R test gives you a lot of critical information, both for infection control using swab specimens and for antimicrobial stewardship for testing isolated colonies. I want to point out again, using expert CARBA-R for developing therapeutic strategies from cure colonies is on label, and that makes this test very, very unique. This is often a point of confusion for some laboratories, as most other rapid methods of identifying carbapenemase-resistant organisms do not have that indication for therapeutic strategies. CARBA-R does. Let's recap. CARBA-R is both an infection control test when used with rectal and perirectal swabs to identify patients with carbapenemase-producing organisms. Second, CARBA-R can be used on colonies in pure cultures to differentiate CPOs, that is carbapenemase-producing organisms, from other resistance mechanisms. Number two, it can differentiate among the five major classes of carbapenemases. And number three, it produces data for therapeutic decisions to assist in antimicrobial stewardship. There we have it. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.